Hello everyone. Hi, hi. It's lovely to see you all here today. Um, today we are kicking off the ICP Chain Fusion Bi uh, Hackathon Bitcoin Edition. It's a very long title. Um, and I'm going to share my screen now to get the launch ready. Okay, so let's begin. Um, as a quick introduction, my name is Adriana and I am your program manager for this hackathon. Uh, my contact details are on the slide there, uh, my email, my Discord, and my Twitter. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any issues or questions regarding this program. I'm here to try to make your hackathon experience as smooth and successful as possible. For those of you who don't know, we are Encode Club, a community of developers, professionals, and students in emerging tech. We have a community of uh, people who attend all our events, like this one. These events include educates, hackathons, accelerators, which build upon hackathons to support projects into startups, and boot camps, which are intensive programs that refine your skills. We also help with recruitment into Web3 roles. If you want any more information about all these exciting events and programs, make sure to follow us on Twitter and check out our website. So speaking of events, we did previously have an ICP Chain Fusion Bitcoin Educate right before this hackathon. Um, the workshop titles are listed there. And if you scan the QR code, it will take you to our YouTube playlist with all the workshop recordings. This is a really good resource. The hackathon kind of builds upon that. Um, and yeah, you can learn more knowledge through this Educate. However, today we are launching the ICP Chain Fusion Hackcoin Bitcoin Edition. This is a full week online event from today until mid-December designed for you to build Bitcoin enabled dApps using the internet computer. To start, I would like to invite Omji on the stage, who is our head of research and operations um, to share a few words with you all. So, uh, hello everyone. Very excited to see this kicking up as um, we have been doing like a lot of like a different programs with ICP team, but this has been very interesting program started like back then once when we had a little Bitcoin together and all like a chain key cryptography things coming, chain fusion, even we started this education together before chain fusion was a thing and the name. And then now chain fusion come, we literally like step-by-step step work with ICP community, learning new technology, getting released step-by-step starting with like if one and like a now Bitcoin edition. So of course, I'm very excited to see that how community evolves and keep learning new bits. Um, of course, like some of you have been around the community either uh, through ICP programs or just within the any input programs, you have been like a participating in different educate, educative programs and maybe building something. Some of you are fairly new. You are just curious about blockchain and what Bitcoin can do. And you see that there's some kind of new technical trend coming, what we can do helping Bitcoin network more interesting and utilize all the assets there. So this is a great opportunity. You can learn from the best in the industry, learning about all different nitty gritty details and also like a technically how things are possible, but also without like jumping into all like cryptographic details, also you can practice in uh, playing around how to build amazing app without having all the blockchain details, a uh, blockchain knowledge. So please like, uh, don't be afraid once when you're curious, I'm receiving a lot of messages that like, um, do I need to know about Bitcoin really well? Or do I need to know about blockchain really well to join the hackathon? All this hackathon education program is designed to be helping any of you who are new to this space can understand high level things and going into detail, especially in the hackathon building a dev, you can start from building something simple. And once when you want to make the advanced things, you know, you can uh, go into the rabbit hole. So long story short, uh, everyone, uh, I'm very excited to see you and please continue learning and building. This is the one of the great uh, series we continuously uh, have been building on. So please check out our previous education series to get the more details and technical um, lectures. And we're gonna have amazing workshops coming um, along in next two weeks. Uh, everyone, we are very excited to see you. And some of you might be traveling to Bangkok, DEFCON, Inco team going to be there in practically 10 days. So if you're around, let us know and good luck. Amazing. Thank you so much, Omji. Um, and like Omji mentioned, this hackathon is sponsored by the Internet Computer. 
Um, and so I would like to invite Moritz on stage and he'll be giving a welcome speech and talking you guys through the bounties. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Yeah, as already mentioned, I'm Moritz. I'm a developer relations engineer at Affinity. Very happy to be here today. Uh, actually, I just came back from Encode London, which was another hackathon hosted by Encode. And I met all the cool people working at Encode and actually it, it feels like I work for Encode and not for Definity because I just saw Encode people for the past five days and not really any of the colleagues I usually work with, but I had a great time. So yeah, that was really cool. Um, yeah, I quickly want to walk you through the bounties that we have up for this hackathon. So maybe we can advance to the next slide. Beautiful. Yeah, the first one is the best use of CK BTC. Is that the first one, actually? I thought there was also the best overall use of, of the Bitcoin integration. Or is that one at the end? No. That one's at the end. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah, first one is best use of um, CKBTC. For those of you that don't know, um, CKBTC is basically a synthetic twin token on the internet computer that's built on top of the chain fusion technology. That's basically a a, a one-to-one -one, um, backed token, a backed by BTC token on the IC, and it enables you to transfer. Bitcoin with a very fast finality and also very low transaction fees on the on the internet computer. If you want to learn how that works, uh, I really recommend you to watch the Educate series um, that we did with Encode Club that was already already mentioned prior. Um, for this bounty, you could use CKBTC to build things like, for example, a, a payment system or maybe some sort of points or reward system where people would really only claim the the native bitcoin if they really if they really want it and until then they can freely send the send the points or the rewards around on the ic uh, as i mentioned earlier for um, very low transfer fees and with a with a very fast finality so that's that's one maybe we can take a look at the next one and that's the best use of bitcoin data so with the direct integration uh, with Bitcoin that the internet computer offers, you actually have access to a number of endpoints that provide you real-time data about the Bitcoin network. And that is, for example, that you have access to the full UTXO set on chain. So you can query UTXOs that belong to a certain address or also the balance of the address. You can get um, block headers, you can get uh, past transaction fees. Um, so yeah, a couple of very interesting um, things that you can do with that. Uh, you could, for example, maybe build a, a Bitcoin Explorer that uses uh, those those data points. Uh, actually, what I forgot to mention for the for the first bounty, I mean, I think it was shown on the on the bottom of the slide. But for the first bounty, we had one uh, one one single winner there, or one single prize that we award, uh, which is a five k um, prize. And for this one, for the best use of Bitcoin data, we, as you see on the slide, we also have um, a five k prize up for grabs. Then maybe we can take a, a look at the, the next one. That is the the best use of threshold Schnorr signatures. Um, if you have not watched the uh, Educate series, you really should watch it. But uh, for those of you that don't know yet, canisters on the internet computer can uh, create uh, two different threshold um, signatures. The first one are ECDSA signatures. Um, those are used on Bitcoin and in the EVM world. And then we also have, uh, since a couple of weeks now, access to threshold Schnorr signatures. And those are, I think, mainly used in Solana and also in Bitcoin, but in Bitcoin more for, um, or in Bitcoin you need them for ordinals, runes, and PRC20 tokens as far as I'm aware, at least. Um, so yeah, basically canisters can, can can use those um, threshold signature schemes, both the ECDSA one and the Schnorr one, to create signatures, which is pretty cool because that means that canisters can hold assets from other layer ones natively, and that is they can natively hold um, 
Bitcoin and Ethereum and AVAX and Solana and stuff like that, but they can also hold those um, meta assets and that is um, ERC-20 tokens, ordinals, runes. And with this technology, you could build a couple of interesting things. For example, maybe a decentralized inscription service. So the canister itself upon receiving payment, maybe in CKBTC would facilitate uh, a inscription on the Bitcoin network. Pretty cool stuff. Or maybe also a BRC-20 bridge. And for this bounty, we actually award um, a price of 5K twice. So there are two winners that we pick for, for the bounty. And then the final one, which is the best overall use of the Bitcoin integration on the internet computer. And here, as the name already suggests, we are going to award a prize for the best overall usage of the Bitcoin integration on the internet computer. So I think this means that um, this is basically like an, an extra price. So not uh, necessarily uh, an extra track or an extra uh, bounty, but um, we, we are going to pick a winner, I think, out of all of the submissions that we had for for the hackathon. So as you can see, um, a pretty big price pool. I think in total it's 45K that we award here. So yeah, really worth um, putting putting some work into that. And the cool thing is that uh, this hackathon runs for a couple of weeks, I think three weeks, Adriana, right? Or is it four? Um, four weeks. Four weeks. Okay, yeah. awesome. And uh, as Yeji uh, Omji already mentioned, um, DEF CON is uh, happening quite soon, uh, two weeks, I think. And of course, we are also going to be there and we are also going to have a, a hacker house there. So um, if you want to come by and, and hack on your, your uh, encode uh, Bitcoin edition, Hackathon project, feel free to do so and feel free to to reach out to us to uh, figure out how to yeah, how to get there and how to kind of like apply to to enter. Um, yes, that is happening next week, actually, the, the hacker house. So before DEFCON. Um, and yeah, I'm go going to mention it again. Uh, if you have not watched the Educate series that we did with Encode Club, I really recommend you to watch them. So if you have no idea about what the Internet Computer is, there is also an Educate series about that. So you can watch that one first, and then you can continue with um, the Educate series and maybe also the workshop series about Chain Fusion Bitcoin edition. And then you should be really um, up to speed about everything related to Bitcoin and Bitcoin on top of the internet computer. With that, um, I think I'll wrap it up here. So happy hacking, good luck. And um, yeah, if anyone has any questions or needs any help, feel free to to reach out to, to me or one of my colleagues, or of course, I think also to the people from Encode. Amazing, thank you so much, Moritz. That was very well explained. Um, and I hope you guys all now kind of understand the bounties a little bit more um, and what you, could potentially build. So before we get into the first workshop, um, there's just a couple more things to go through. Um, so some frequently asked questions, Any, anyone can take part in this hackathon. All of the resources can be found in the hacker pack, which um, I've also sent in on the Discord. So please make sure to join our Discord um, and select the ICP Chain Fusion Hackathon Bitcoin edition um, to have access to all of that. You can also look for a team through that Discord as well. Um, and that's where all the technical support from the ICP team will be available too. Uh, we do recommend you find a team, but you can of course hack solo um, and you can um, send in or enter in an existing project, but it does need to show noticeable feature improvements. So now uh, for some key dates and deadlines. So today we've got um, Jesse's workshop, which is using ICP as a Bitcoin layer two, the first part here uh, today, and then the second part on this Thursday. And then next week, we've got another workshop run by Loka Mining. And then um, the mid submission deadline will be next Sunday. This is just to tell us what you're planning on building and to see how we can support you if necessary. Um, and then the final submission deadline will be the 24th of November, which gives us time for the finale in December. So what you need to do now is to join the Discord if you haven't already. It's our ENCODE Club public one, um, and then click the ICP 
Chain Fusion Hackathon role. Um, you can find teammates through that and then participate in the workshops. And like Marit said, and Omji as well, do make sure to watch the Educate because that will be a really good foundation knowledge. And then you'll be prepared to build your project um, and submit by the 24th of November. So that is all from me today. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to DM me um, and, or anyone else from the ENCODE team or the ICP Bitcoin team.